it is all always good to be reminded that we must not forget that we are the custards of our own development, ladies and gentlemen. And whatever change we need to see would only happen if we hold hands together to say us, work together to achieve everything we need. And question has been asked, what must be done to ensure that youth are keep busy with learning with the right product schedule but not right drinking schedule? <clears throat> As a leader, you must have a nation with you wherever you go. And being invited by National Youth Council Forum, it's a good start because it shows to all to us as leaders that you are prepared to start fully with with all the energies and organized work in 2021 with us as leaders. And I have to applaud you for that. Number one, we got a limited time. I was asking, I came that our youth place, it closed at five o'clock. Let me give an example. We're gonna have a Bible study as a uh, youth club. What time are we going to start? Some of the youth are at work. They are looking off the same time our youth place it's closing. And as we know, we bring this small town. No one can accommodate us with Bible study. No one can accommodate us with a fitness club. All the thing is just in the youth place. And the youth, it's closing at five. I think that's a big challenge. We don't have recreational facilities for you. The only recreational facilities for me is, of course, the club, and then any other bar. As a youth, I do believe that 50% of us sitting right here, around about five o'clock, we're gonna get dressed up to go to love station. There's no recreational facility where I can sit with a friend or a peer and discuss something that will build me and my fellow peer. But then how would I get there? Where is the platform where I can show that I'm the best netball player Namibia can have? Where are the platforms that there will be a mess universe from a small town retreats? I even met some of them who I have been asked them, are you going for the meeting? They said, oh, which meeting are you talking about? Mm -hmm. They don't even go to that not for the read. Men with the cut of sayings, if you want to have information from a man, put it in writing. The only problem we have in every town, in every, around our country is a self-commitment. That's the point I want to talk about right now. Self-commitment. We are not committed to ourselves. And I have committed myself early next year to develop a comprehensive program of uh, constructive engagement with the youth. But what I, what I insist is that uh, there is need for a proper organization to, uh, from the youth side to, uh, to operate in a structure that we can communicate you to elect your leaders with a proper communication. That's very key. Some of the things that uh, Ms. Kweli uh, raised some of the issues are, are addressed, some are being addressed, some are planned. And I, I also fully, uh, I'm actually excited by what uh, Ms. Jareka said about skills development. Uh, Seriki, what do we do about it? So this is a platform where we can do. We want to make money from the business, but you, I have committed that uh, when there is an organized structure, we want free of charge, you meet here. So, if there are skills in terms of, uh, even maybe um, maybe in our community, there are people maybe who are uh, 
So I can go on and list a lot of things. So there is no excuse whatsoever why the youth in Lutherans cannot get organized and meet and debate constructively, engage in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a responsible dialogue and produce conclusions. That's important because we cannot just debate for the sake of it. We need to get conclusions. Again, to go to what Meme Jarena said, skills development. It's very critical. Very soon we will have our own nest here to give the opportunity to the young people so that they are properly skilled, equipped, so that they can uh, take on challenges of life properly equipped. There are some of the youth, they are unemployed. There are some of them, their parents are not in their position to even assist them with the funds to attend the gym. I just heard recently that the gym is 560 per month, which means um, most of our youth, I can say 90% of the youth of Lutheran is actually excluded because they are not able to afford that amount of money. So we need clarity in their presence today. Um, how will this building accommodate those youth who are unemployed, who are hungry to come and visit the job, keep themselves busy, keep them away from drugs and all those kind of things? These are the things that we should be concerned about. Why is it that a 13 year old is smoking every single day of his life? It's not just because a 15 year old wants to be at home, I want to be at a bar smoking. Some of these things is the fact that they don't have the support that they need from their parents. I myself am someone who suffered from depression and anxiety for the past eight years and I only found out last year, 2019, that I was having depression and anxiety. But I've been here all my life and at the one point I had to leave school I had to drop out of varsity for a whole year. For a whole year, because I thought I was going crazy when it was something that was easily preventable. But because I didn't know about these things, a whole year of life was lost. So instead of just no, instead of just being so fast to pinpoint and say, yes, the youth are not doing anything because they are at pass, ask yourself why is it that the youth is at pass at such a young age? Then now, who am I to go there and say I want to play rugby if they didn't make provision for me to go apply to play? Thank you. So much. Uh, let me just get to the, the point. The amount that, that is being charged here, I think for from my understanding, looking at our community, the jobs that are available here, the income, if you look at just if you can scale down numbers to a GDP set, GDP understanding, we people get very less money. The MYC is talking about the your objectives in the province of the province. We are talking about to foster, develop, and encourage and establish and mobilize, popularization and facilitate and pursue. And when you are talking about these things, you are talking about you. I would like to know what have NYC have done in your case. What the job of thing can you bring to us? Then you say to us, one thing that you have been proud of, um, Jefferson, our acting Jefferson, Mr. Mutaren, before you took that position, what achievement have NYC have done? Want to amul am to go do for 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 Isa home to fat Isa Is it that was twenty twelve? Nothing happened. So I'm staying at my mother's house until now. Very soon. I like the word soon. We are going to have our own asking for it. In 2015 or 2012, we heard about this five years ago. To this day, it's not yet complete. And 
giving, uh, giving us a term soon, which it, it, it means he, they don't know when exactly this nest is going to open. So I would like to know when exactly will it open, because I'm not happy with the answer soon. Thank you. Just to go to the store, so much money. 500. So of course, I'm not even working. So then, what, how much, how would I get that 500? So then, I'm in this constituency. Why are we in the youth not aware that there is such a thing as the Nami Moose constituency youth forum? Because I personally didn't know until today that there is such a thing. And how do you guys ensure the youth that there is such a thing which would give them the platform to get engaged in issues such as drug abuse and everything? And my question is also to the new elected regional councillor, Ms. Susan Jaleka. As we all know, you are the ex-mayor of Ludritz. What are the facilities and programs that you have initiated since you are an ex-mayor? Because to be honest, I don't mean to be disrespectful. I don't know any facility or youth program that you have initiated as an ex-mayor. And how are you going to ensure to us, the youth of Ludritz, that you are going to cater for youth development for us in Ludras and the Nami Moose constituency at large. The issue about communication has been emphasized by previous speakers as well. You see, information flow, effective communication is very, very, very critical. You see, when countries go to war and they fight and they start dropping bombs and what have you and they kill each other and all, there is no communication. There is no communication. For a ceasefire, when people sign a truce, a ceasefire, those fighting forces will be coming together and sign and communicate clearly when is the implementation date of the ceasefire, what should happen, the disengagement of a uh, of uh, aggressive forces and all these other things. So, when people are, when people have tension or, or potential conflict or they don't trust each other, it's because of lack of information flow, lack of effective communication. Those points I will also highlight in my leadership presentation that I'm going to do. If you don't have it, forget. Forget about it. So, now, I think some of the issues that have been raised again say, well, uh, Government Jaleka, tell us what is your plan what, so that we can try and, and inspire people so that they can try and discover their strength, their talents, and become productive citizens of the country, contribute towards the development, the upliftment of our community, of our region, of the country, and the international community. So these are some of the things that we're thinking.